Welcome to Christiana, the place with no laws where you can legally buy weed here in Copenhagen. So let's have a walk and find out, although filming is prohibited. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, film here. No. This place is called Freetown Christiana and it's notorious for being unlawed by the Danish government. It is a small district within Copenhagen, but it is completely different from the rest of Denmark. And in this video, we want to find out. Although, it was a bit difficult because it is not allowed to film or photograph in the entire district. So, I had to be undercover to show you this exclusive content. I wish you a beautiful good morning here from Copenhagen in Denmark. Today I am going to explore one of the last anarchist districts of Europe. There is a place called Freetown Christiana and apparently there it is legal to consume and sell drugs and um, I'm not sure what else. So I heard about it and I want to find out to see how unruly you know, how unlawful this place really is. So, it is a beautiful day here in fall 2022 in Copenhagen and I like that the trees are already getting red. I just flew in from Germany where the trees are still green, but as the weather here is a bit colder, you can see uh, it's different. So beautiful view here. Over there, the big gray building, this is my hostel, $25 a night. So, and this is my wonderful hostel room for $25 a night. Again, it's raining, but we have a beautiful view. Over there is uh, Christiana. And yes, this is one of the best hostels I've stayed at. I recommend it because it also has a private bathroom. And right now there are just two other people. So pretty good. But but I don't like hostels in fact. Although this is one of the best hostels I have stayed at. You know, private bathroom for the four people in our room. That's, that's very nice, very clean and modern. So here's the bridge of relationship crisis. Two <laughs> fights at the same time. I'm not sure if they're related. And here you can see beautiful boats, as well as the trees and some bird houses. Welcome to Christianshaven. That's where we are, stages, beautiful church. Lots of strange people here already. Small, uh, sm uh, I smelled wheat just a second ago. Um, but we are not in the center because in the center of this place, no cars are allowed. And actually, we are also not allowed to film, so we have to be a little bit undercover. Let's find out. Beautiful natural paradise just before the entrance to Christian Town. Man just taught me when I get up there I cannot film. Here we are, this is free time. I hope you can excuse the uh, camera shakes because I wasn't really able to film normally. I couldn't point with the camera, so I could just walk with it and I would expect hopefully catch something interesting. Therefore it's a bit shaky and yeah, as you can see the rain as well made the lens a bit blurry. So I was going with my little uh, Sony X3000 action cam and also with my DSLR. So I will mix both footages and show you the best parts of what I recorded. Art gallery. Wow. Wow. 
The weather is not good today. You have a restaurant. Yes. Can you spare some coins? I don't have any coins, really. I say I'm sorry. I really don't have any coins. I just want to pay with crowd while I'm here. I have some Ukrainian Griefner left, but I don't think he wants them. So the rain really sucks, but I only have one day. Tomorrow I'm going to Pakistan. So uh, that's why I came just to visit this beautiful place. So we have to take it as it is. In the past they even had coffee shops, but apparently they closed them down. You can find them in the museum right now. Like not coffee shops like in Holland, like an outdoor stall where they were selling wheat. They say it's a community of squatters, but they do have air conditions and yeah. I guess it was smart to build the houses here, so you don't have to pay taxes. I'm not sure. Very pretty. Some paintings as well. Oh, there's a real horse. Two, three. In the middle of Copenhagen. Four, five, maybe even more. Well, this is not Christiana, but it's still very beautiful. On the outside, so there are lots of cars, probably from the residents who live here. I would also love to live here. Have a car and then just walk in the city. You know, while Denmark is so expensive. Yeah, even more expensive than Germany. That's why living in a place like this could be really nice. So apparently you can still buy wheat on the street. You just talk to people. So back inside. With the tower, it like resembles a church. My opinion. I have no idea. Pre Tron Christiana was founded in 1971 as an abandoned military base. So since nobody owned the land, squatters came and inherited the area. So therefore the entire community uh, developed and which is now famous for its yeah, hush trade and wheat, cannabis. So people just come to buy there. It's, it's legal to buy and consume it there, but if you take it out, the police often arrest people. Although, police recently even came into Freetown Christiana and were arresting dealers. That happens very often, I've heard. Very touristy, but a cover. Okay. Take Outskirt again. The bus. So here have a little map. I think we're here somewhere. Ah, this is the Pusher Street. 
there you definitely shouldn't film this eh we tried anyways and uh, I think we're here somewhere it must be close to the street I think here so we're going now to the pusher street I feel a bit bad because many people told me not to film and they also warned me that I could be beaten up if they caught me filming especially in the pusher street so I think there are only four or five entrances so in fact it's not completely bad to film in Christiana but in the pusher street this is the most no-go part where you shouldn't film although therefore for me it is the most exciting area of this entire place and yeah I just wish the weather would be better So now we're finally getting into the Pusher Street, which is basically the main attraction of the entire Freetown Christiana. So here you can see on the left and the right side uh, boxes, plastic boxes piled up where guys are standing behind them and they're having huge bags of wheat. Yeah? So if somebody wants to buy something, they just walk there and they give you a quote and I think you probably can also negotiate, especially if you buy more. I, um, yeah, I will have a conversation with them soon and then you can see what they say and how much are the prices. I also want to say that I totally understand that they don't want to be filmed and I hope that I don't get them into trouble because it's still a grey area. It's tolerated but on the other hand they're still coming and arresting people I really don't know what is going on behind the scenes. You know, there are raids frequently, but then it's still happening. I mean, they are pretty aware of what's going on. I mean, the Danish police, the government. Uh, so, I don't know. But I think it's good. I like, I like the idea of having a district where people can express their freedom. And I mean, as long as there are no true crimes, Nobody's getting hurt and nobody's really getting into dread things. It's, it's fine. So now you can see what this place really is, you know? People are selling openly wheat on the streets. That's what it is. They have big bags and it's like all unregulated. So in summer there are apparently some parties here in the weekend, in the evenings. And I think it could be quite fun. Yeah? Yeah, film here. The cat is out of the bag. The facing change. Oh, here's the public pissoir. You can pee for free. Oh, it's very old. Oh, crazy. So, support Christiana by one of the stock. The share. So, now I'm taking here another round at the uh, Pusher Street, but this time I'm using my DSLR to have a better quality image. And I also dare to have a conversation with uh, the pushers to see how much is the price for a little bit of wheat. In fact, they are also supposed to have hashish, but I haven't seen it. Probably because hashish is much smaller. So this is 15 euro, right? For 1.8 gram. What you need? No, no, 50 euro. So wait, no, how much is it no, in, in euro? euro is 300. No, uh, wait. 20, 20 euro is 100. 
Yeah, 20 euros for 100. Yeah. And for 100, I get how much gram? Uh, 1.6. Oh, 1.6. Oh, 1.6. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit cheaper in Holland, though. Yeah. It's cheaper in Amsterdam. Yeah. Wow, yeah. nice. From okay. Amsterdam? No, from Germany. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yes. I'm checking the prices and right. compare. Yeah, Who yeah. has the best here? We have the best. I don't know. <laughs> I tell you, we have, we have the best. Okay, all right. Yeah. Thank no, you. Good no, luck. No, no, no. Okay, Yeah, I'm there, we're there, Hello, do you have a pipe cleaner? No. No cleaner. Alright, thank you. You see the the this big stock, this building stock. with the plastic, other side of the street, there's a kiosk, they sell it. This was bullshit. He said uh, 100 kroner are 20 euro, but no, it's only 13 euro 50. And yes, it's slightly cheaper in Amsterdam, but not that much. Yeah, and these are street sellers. I'm not sure if the quality is better than in Amsterdam. But anyway, it's very interesting to see. People are very friendly. I enjoyed it. I could film most of the time, at least in secret. Yeah. So and lots of kids, you know. I'm surprised how many school groups came there to visit. You know, it's uh, yeah, very interesting. So anyway, thank you for watching and stay tuned. Pakistan is coming up. <laughs>